this is going to be a simple regression between midterm scores and final exam scores. Uh, a simple regression means there's one IV, one DV. It's just like a correlation. But I'm going to do this in Excel first. So let me get over to the data. And I'm going to highlight the midterm scores and the final exam scores. And copy. And I'll paste these into a Microsoft document. Pasty. Boom. So the fastest way to do a simple regression here is to highlight both columns all the way down until you get them all. Get back up there. You. We're going to go to insert. I'm sorry, a, a scatter plot. There's our scatter plot. You simply hover the cursor over any point until you get that series one point stuff. Right click. You're going to add a trend line. And then over here, you're going to, let me see if I can't pull this up for you. You're going to add, it's just off the chart here. Let me pull this up just a hair so you guys can see it. Get in there, you. Oop, 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 oop. Here it is down here. Display equation on chart, and you want the R squared. And I always put it someplace where you can see it. And I like to highlight it so it's big and so everybody can see it. Get bigger, you. Boom, 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 boom. But there is your simple regression. There's the equation. Right? Your predicted Y is your predicted final exam scores would be 2.598 times your midterm scores plus 59.862. So that's it in a nutshell with Excel. Let's turn around and do this in SPSS. Please hold. All right, simple regression between midterm scores, final exam scores in SPSS. You're going to go to Analyze, Regression, Linear. It doesn't care how many... IVs you have. That's what I love about SPSS. So we want midterm to be the IV and final exam to be the DV. And what do we want here? We want basically all that stuff. I'm just doing this automatically plots. Da, 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 da. We don't need the rest of that stuff real quick. So boom. Now it doesn't give you the equation as easily as Excel does. What you have to do here is you have to go down to the coefficients box and there's your constant B, right? 59.862 and and 2.60 is your coefficient. Okay, so it's going to be predicted Y. Your final exam scores prediction are, is going to be 2.6 times whatever they got on the midterm score plus the constant. Let's just double check to make sure this is what we had here. Yeah, 2.6 plus about 60. Yeah, there, that's about the same thing. So that's how you do that on SPSS. It's just easier to use Excel with a simple regression. That's it. MGZ out.